Arch Linux and Hyperland. It has officially been a year since I first installed Arch Linux with Hyperland, and I've been rising ever since. It all started when I stumbled upon a really cool Hyperland rice on YouTube, and I got curious and decided to try it out myself. Before that, I had only used Ubuntu a few times before, so diving into Arch Linux and Hyperland was a whole new experience. My Linux rising journey though was far from smooth. I was confused about where to start or how to do certain things. Looking back, I wish there had been a simple guide to help me figure things out. And now that I see more and more people getting into Linux and trying out Hyperland, I figured this would be a great time to share what I've learned to help you get started and maybe make the process a bit easier than it was for me. In this video, we'll talk about the initial setup and some quality of life tools that will make your rising journey smoother. For the initial setup, what we want to do is disable the auto-generated config file, install an AUR package manager like yay or paru, enable multi-lib repositories on pacman, and install some fonts. Let's start by disabling the auto-generated config file. As you can see here, we have a clean Arch Hyperland installation. Now you want to open your terminal by using superq, and then you want to navigate to your hyper directory using cd.config slash hyper. After you're inside the hyper directory, you want to edit the hyperland.conf using your favorite text editor. I'm using Vim here. You want to delete the auto-generated line here, like that. And then you want to save the config. And that's it. Don't forget to go back to your home directory using cd. The next thing that we want to do is install git before we install our AUR helper. To do that, you can just type in sudo pacman dash s dash dash needed git base dash devel and then just hit return and then you can enter your password. And then you can type in y and the installation will be running and it's done. After we install git, now we can install our AUR helper or package manager. Here's yay. You can type in git clone https aur.archlinux.org slash yay.git. Just like that, you will clone the yay repository. Then you can navigate to the yay directory and type in make package dash si. And then the installation process will be running. You can enter your password and enter Y. And you can enter your password again. And the installation will be running still. And it's done. Now you can check if yay is installed or not using yay dash dash version to check if it's installed or not. Okay, there's another AUR helper or package manager. It's Paru, it's pretty popular. So install it, it's pretty similar to Yay. Now you can enter the git clone, HTTPS AUR, blah, blah, blah. But instead of Yay, you can change that to Paru. And then you can navigate to the Paru directory and type in make package dash si again. The thing is, you can choose between Paru or Yay Paru is more feature-rich and written in Rust, while Ye is more simplistic and written in Go. And if the installation is complete, you can also check the Paru installation using paru dash dash version just like how you do it in Yay. And your Paru installation is done. The next thing that you want to do is enable multi-lib repositories on Pacman. This will allow you to install 32-bit applications like Steam on your Arch Linux. To do that, you can navigate to slash etc. Then you can do a sudo vim or sudo 
text editor that you want to the pacman.conf file. You can enter your password and then you can scroll down and find the commented multilib repository mirror list. And now you want to delete the uh, command on those and then you can now save the config. Just like that. Now you want to sync your pacman do sudo pacman dash s capital s y to sync your multilib repositories the next thing that we want to do is to install some fonts the first font that you want to install is the uh, ttf font awesome you can use yay dash s ttf font awesome and hit enter or return then press Y and the TTF font awesome is installed the next font that you want to install is the TTF Muslow nerd font power level 10k because we want to install power level 10k later when we talk about shells Here you just have to hit enter twice and the installation will be running. You can hit Y and it's complete. With that out of the way, we can talk about the quality of life tools. The first thing is web browser and then text editor and network manager, blues and blue to ETH and the last thing is Zoxide. Let's talk about the web browser first. The web browser of my choice is Firefox. To install that, you can just sudo pacman s Firefox, prompt your password. Here, you can pick number two for Noto fonts because it will provide you with the most fonts that you need, like Japanese fonts and other symbols. So, yeah, I'm recommending you to pick number two. And then you can use command R to open app launcher and open Firefox through that. Now let's talk about text editors. There are several text editors that people are using like Vim, like the one that I use, or Nano, that people also like to use. But if you're starting up, I recommend you to install VS Code instead because it's easier to use. To do that, you can just type in yay dash s visual dash studio dash code dash bin just like that and you can follow the installation prompt the reason why i recommend you to use vs code is using terminal based text editor is kind of a bit uh, complicated in some parts like people are not used to using uh, nano even though nano is pretty easy to use or vim i know vim is cool vim is quick but it, it can be pretty tricky to use at first so i recommend you if you're starting to use vs code instead because it's really straightforward and easy to use once the installation is done now you can type in code dot to open VS code on the directory that you're working on. So the next thing, the next thing that I want to talk about is network manager. So to install network manager, you can type in sudo pacman s network manager, just like the usual, and then follow the installation prompts. And then the next thing that you want to do is to enable the network manager service. And then you want to start the network manager service. With that, now you can open an MTUI to connect to your Wi-Fi. So this way it's easier for you to connect to your Wi-Fi or your network.
the next thing that we want to install is Blues and Blue to ETH. Just like usual, here you can use sudo pacman s. You want to install Blues, Blues Utils, Blues dash obax. Just like that. And you follow the prompt. The reason why we want to install Blues is so we can connect to our Bluetooth devices. Then you can sudo systemctl enable Bluetooth service to enable the Bluetooth service. And then you want to start the Bluetooth service. Just like that. Now you want to enable the OBEX service. Here I got an error because I'm on a VM, so yeah, that shouldn't be happening. And then the next thing that you want to do is to install Bluetooth ETH. This will provide you with a terminal UI to connect to your Bluetooth device easier instead of just using Bluetooth CTL. Here, before you want to run the Bluetooth ETH, you will get this error. To fix the error, you can run the Bluetooth CTL, then open the Bluetooth ETH again. And you'll be greeted with this UI. The next thing that we want to install is Zuxide. You can type in the command yay-s Zuxide, and then follow the installing prompts. When it's done, you can edit your .bash rc file. You want to go down to the last line of your .bash rc file. You want to add eval quote dollar open bracket zuxide init bash close bracket and quote and now you can save the .bash rc file and you can source the .bash rc file to reload the .bash rc config Zuxide is a beefier version of cd now i will give you an example here so we want to go to hyper config for example using cd you can go to dot config then hyper just like that and to enter hyper again you have to do the same thing like dot config slash hyper or etc but with zuxide zuxide will remember the directories that you have visited before so for example here we have been to hyper now we can just z hype and it will just go to hyper it is really convenient this will make traversing and navigating through your terminal way, way easier. And so, yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope this video can help you guys actually kickstart your Arch Linux rising journey and make it easier with the quality of life tools that I provide here. And I know this video wasn't perfect. This was my second video with some narration like this. I really felt uncomfortable doing narrations like this because it is unscripted and sometimes I just don't know what to say about and yeah I will explore a bit more on the type of videos like this and to create something that is way more comfortable so you guys can actually get more information and actually enjoy the video more so yeah in the next video, we'll talk about shells and terminals because using shells and terminals is essential on Linux. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.